when one thinks about evil, you think about, well, how does evil come? Is it going to come and scare you? Is it going to try and drag you in? So it has to be in a form that at least is intriguing, if not pleasing. Rosalinda, she's kind of beautiful. There's a beauty and symmetry to her face, and her eyes are gorgeous. But we took some things away from her. We took her eyebrows and her hair away. And we didn't quite know whether she was a man or a woman because we played with her voice. Lai-fi. She could have been an angel, for all you knew, to begin with. It masquerades as things that could be good, but then all of a sudden the, the edge lifts off and you see maybe just a hint of what it really is, and that's the most frightening thing about it. And many people have asked, what's with the kid, you know? He was a nice little fellow called David Moroda, who was a Lilliput, who's probably about my age, you know? but from behind he looks small and bald, and when he turns around he's this kind of wrinkled guy. But it's like <laughs> really like... You're, you're crazy. No, you're crazy. Con la lingua. Devi passare la lingua. Passare lentamente con la lingua. Tutti e due, no? You're crazy. <laughs> What could be more wholesome than the image of a mother with a child? It's benevolent. It's, uh, I've skewed it slightly so when the baby turns around, there's something wrong with the baby, you know. It's, uh, masquerades is something wholesome, but in fact, it's underneath, you know. It's a, there's a deception involved, and, and that's evil, I think. <laughs>